hello come on in the coffee shop is open i've got oh i've come a bit close sorry i've got an americano and as always it's wednesday as i'm filming this you'll see it on thursday but i work thursday so it's a bit difficult i suppose i could change my coffee shop drivel day to wednesday and upload on a wednesday but you know anyway um as i said come on in the coffee shop is open give barry your order i've got a little update on barry at the end as always um Lorna I've got some iron brewing for you and got lots of drinks in got lots of drinks in it is quite early but if you wanted a little glass of something something we can probably sort you out soup of the day today mm. I told Mr Paper and Twine what soup of the day was it is in fact spicy vegetable and peanut so if you have a nut allergy I'm afraid this one is not suitable for you and um, I told Mr. Paper and Twine what soup of the day was. He said, I don't want that. And then he said, I don't have that in that tone of voice. Now, it's kind of like a family joke because years ago, I don't know, uh, maybe five or six years ago, we went on holiday to Cornwall with my mum and dad and we stayed at some friends of ours. Um, they own the most wonderful property just outside Falmouth it's called Chaikara I'll link it in the description box because if you want a nice holiday in Cornwall they've got lodges and a yurt and if you've got anybody who's thinking of getting married they do weddings um so I'll 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 link them down below um but yeah we were staying with them and um we went to a place, I think it's called Polkeris. The name always escapes me. It's a lovely little beach and it's a tiny cove. It's not massive, it's it's a little cove. And you you go down a really steep hill. So there's a, there's a car park about halfway up the road into the village. And it's a really steep hill down. There's a few little houses. And then on the beach itself, there's a pub and a really nice kind of fine dining fish restaurant and anyway we, we went we've been there loads of times the kids loved it when they were little because it was really safe and um they you know they couldn't go anywhere and i think they learnt did they learn sailing really simple sailing there that was a trauma because mr paper and twine stood on a fish hook and had to go to a and e to have it removed that was a bit of a trauma but anyway i digress we went to this pub on a beautiful day with my mum and dad and we had lunch and we were sat they've got a big terrace overlooking the sea and um we all ordered our food and mum's arrived and she just she just looked at the plate and said i don't have that it's cucumber i don't have that and my, my mum really does not like cucumber and the wait the poor waitress said it's not cucumber it's courgettes so like whenever it's just a thing in our family now that you know, we'll get, I don't have that. So then I tried to explain to Pete that he wasn't having spicy vegetable and peanut soup, that it's a soup in my virtual coffee shop. And he said, well, what are you doing having soup in your coffee shop anyway? It's, it's a coffee shop, not a soup kitchen. Doesn't Barry get fed up? <laughs> so we're having this conversation. So, but anyway, Barry is diligently making this spicy vegetable and peanut soup so yes i don't know what it's going to taste like it's got a bit of cream in it it's got a bit of cajun pepper in it um i think it'll be all right so yeah anyway first things first a while ago on my channel i made these little one sheet wonders these little folios I'm battling with faint sunlight this is using digital paper from um, antonio makes um, there's a lot of free paper in here but what's on the cover isn't free and it's like a little a little folio that opens up if you're interested in how to make one of these you can make it out of a sheet of 12 by 12 I'll link that video down below and I'll link Antonio down below as well and then I made this one as a design team project for Cheryl Simone Crafts using I think it's called peach tea from Prima Marketing and I said that if you commented which was your favourite, I would send, send it to you. So, um, shall we do a little race? 
So here were the two folios and you had to comment which was your favourite to be in with a chance of winning it. And 10 people commented, I've got Chloe Snelling, Cheat Lady UK, Anne Lane, Jessica Marvel, Monica Wakluska, Joyce Cheer, Shirley Meldrum, Kath S, Margaret Flaxman and Margaret Peden. So I've got a, a race. Um, if you saw Jessica Marvel draw for her prize winners, she did on Halloween, she did brilliant, brilliant races. And um, I've had a look at the duck race website. You know, I normally do a duck race. Um, but you have to pay for the ones that she used and I'm a bit tight, <laughs> so I'm not paying. But I've got these emoji ones for a change. So we've got one to 10, entered, and we will press start. Oh, this one's <laughs> looking a bit, oh, this one's not very happy. Who's that, number eight? Who is number eight? Kathy, so oh, Kathy, you're looking a bit, a bit glum. Here we go. They're all, they're all kind of keeping up with each other. These ones are lagging behind, are they? Oh, number six. I think number six is going to win. You know, I think number six is going for it. Yes, it's number six, and number six is Joyce too. So Joyce, I've got your address. Hold on. I've got your address now, so I will send that to you. So I'm thrilled that Joyce has won. She watches an awful lot of my videos and I know that um, things aren't always very good for her. So it'd be nice to um, send her something. She said that she preferred this one. So I'll be popping that in the post, perhaps later today, actually, because I've got to go out to go knitting and I want to go charity shop hunting. I've got a craft collaboration in mind, but I need to get something from a charity shop. So watch this space the other thing i want to talk about is that i am going to start my big d stash soon and i'm going to put it out there i want to know your opinion and what you think about the pricing i'm going to put together some mystery packs of card and in these mystery packs a lot of it that the majority of it is hunky dory so I thought I'd put together a mystery pack of 30 pieces of A4 card. They're, they're, the topper sheets are slightly bigger than A4. And I think the um, background card is at least 320 GSM and some of it is 350 GSM, I believe. And it's all hunky-dory, adorable, scorable, which is really, really good quality. And I thought I'd put together a pack of 30 sheets, a mystery pack, I'm going to do some Christmas ones so that, so that you know you're getting Christmas themes, but the others are going to be just mystery. So boys, girls, man, cutesy, natural, you know, whatever, and, and a mix of colour palettes. And I thought in the pack, because Hunky Dory, when they do their kits, they put together topper sheets. They put together... Um, printed card that's got a focal image on it that you could use as card you could cut into it and you know make card fronts out of it and then they also put together a sheet that's a pattern a complete pattern on an a4 and i thought i'd put together 12 patterned sheets 12 focal sheets and six topper sheets and i've looked at the luxury card packs on hunky dory's website and they're either $19.99 for 24 sheets or $24.99 for 24 sheets um, plus PMP. So I was thinking 30 sheets, not 24, for £10 plus second class postage. Let me know what you think of that pricing because they are as new. They've not been used. They're not bent. They've been stored in their acetate or cellophane bags they are as new and less than half price for more than what you'd get from hunky dory and you've got the mystery element of it and you know me i will put together really nice packs so i'd be really interested to know what you think about that anyway moving swiftly on um i've got some happy mail and i know who it's from because it's got their name on the front it's from art 
I think it's Art Junkie is the channel name, but her name is Shannon. So I will leave her linked down below. Lots of linking down below today. And she, um, I, I did a video on what's an ATC and how to make one quite some time ago. And she asked if I would swap one with her. So I agreed and um, she's received mine. Um, I don't think I've shown what I've sent. I'm not sure. No, I didn't film what I've sent, but maybe she has on her channel. I don't know. I do know that I sent her a card with one of my multicoloured Cosmic Shimmer Pixie Powder backgrounds with um, black Tim Holtz foliage over the top. And I can't remember. I think I, oh, I think I sent one of the ATCs from that particular video i can't remember anyway let's have a little look at what she sent so on the back we've got handmade with love by art junkie should have done this top down shouldn't i the light's shocking but the front of the card is inked so it's got a gold shimmer and it looks like it could be i don't know seedless preserves ink but it's been put through an embossing folder isn't that lovely oh so she sent this in September I've had it about a week I think hi Ashley nice to have me and you on YouTube <laughs> thanks for swapping ATC with me Shannon aka art junkie so we'll find somewhere for that card to go and it says on the back artist trading card window to fly is the title art junkie it was made on the 27th of September 2022 by Shannon Pratt for Ashley Thompson. And I think it did take quite a while to get here from Ottawa. She lives in Ottawa, Canada. And there is the front window to fly. That's really cute, isn't it? So that little bit is left free so the butterfly can fly. And it's flying through the window. And it's got this interesting background paper don't know whether that's something that's been put through a stencil the black on the background I don't know maybe if Shannon's watching she can let me know but thank you for that that will go in my collection of ATCs sticking with the art theme um I'm going to be scheduling a video to go up on Sunday and um it's all about brushos so um as you know I'm um, a teaching assistant in a secondary school and I help out in a, a number of art classes including a GCSE year 10 GCSE um, art group and um, they're looking at mixed media and the teacher uh, well I offered to the teacher would you like me to do a brushos demonstration because she mentioned brushos and she said oh yes please so I did that on Monday and I thought it's a long time since I've used brushos and I know I've got hundreds of videos on my channel now but I don't even know whether I've done a brushos video or not. I know I've done a cosmic shimmer one so I've put up or will be putting up for Sunday um, a how to use brushos in different ways to create backgrounds and um, it is quite a long video so get your coffee. <laughs> We'll get Barry to make you a coffee. Um, but I'm going to do for school and for you guys how I've used those backgrounds in a separate video. Um, but it was really sweet. The lad I support um, is, a, is a bit anxious, bless him. And um, I'm with him quite a lot of the week. And, and I think, you know, I think we understand each other quite well now. But um, it was towards the end of the lesson and he went, miss, miss. I went, what? He went, that thing you did. Never seen it before. It's quite interesting. <laughs> that was so sweet. But then in year seven art, they, they're they doing, um, what did she call it? Relief art. And um, this, so it was from a still life. You had to do something from a still life in your sketchbook. And that's what I did. So that's my watermelon slice white on white building up layers just cutting out shapes so i quite like that anyway i've witted on loads and loads and loads do you want to know what's happening with barry i bet you do that's what you're all here for really isn't it i might as well just not 
after soup of the day i might just as well not tell you what's going on in my life um barry well mm, you might have heard a bit of banging and clattering in the kitchen he's he's in a he's in a bit of a tizzy to put it mildly um bart has actually got on a plane and flown over from poland and he's arrived here with a suitcase banging on the door do you know what time it was it was two o'clock in the morning anyway i texted barry and said i don't want to open the door at two o'clock in the morning you do it anyway it turned out it was bart and he comes running in and he tries to kiss barry and barry's like i'm with somebody i'm with somebody bart persevered barry gave in he gave in and he snogged bart back so one thing led to another as i'm sure you can imagine and um barry is turning a corner because he couldn't live with himself <clears throat> and he confessed the very next morning to beth so beth has thrown her toys out of the pram as you know she's got the right to do she threw her toys out the pram and um barry is now licking his wounds because he's decided he doesn't he doesn't want to be with bart so bart has actually now gone back to poland and um beth is ignoring all of barry's calls so on that bombshell i'm going to say goodbye i hope you come back and join me on sunday for my brushos video um Oh, and then Monday, it's Secret Diary of a Cereal Dieter. Part of me is quite excited because I have tried to be good this month. I've had my lapses. I'm not saying I've been perfect. The weekend wasn't brilliant. And of course, I went out for lunch with Woolly Steph last week, which was lovely. Um, the food actually wasn't too bad. It was the two glasses of wine I had. Yes, that's not good. Um, but I am quite looking forward to it. And what will be will be. I've, tr I've tried that's the main thing so i'll be back sunday and hopefully i'll see you then and i'll see you monday if you want to see how i've done on the scales take care everybody don't forget to give a big thumbs up and like and share and subscribe